There's no escaping this bear. Until I finish this game and I have no Danganronpas left. Yo, that was like all the games right there. Wow. Look at this recap Andy. And the anime. I haven't watched the anime yet. Shit. Stream's canceled. I gotta go watch the anime. Oh god, out of context spoilers. Yo, she's cute. I do need to go watch the anime. History is... This story is not over. Oh, God. Dude, look at these stylish words. A new killing game will begin again. No, not like this. Haven't enough people died already? When will you be... When will you be quenched? Killing harmony dude that's the that, look at that three that's like a very edgy three it's like two monokuma eyes in that three you can't wait for me to hate it wait the game or the anime because i've heard lots of good things and lots of bad things about this game <laughs> without like going into like i've avoided the spoilers pretty much but i've heard many good things and many bad things but I'm excited to form my own opinion. All right. Nothing. No light. No sound. No form. No voice. No knowledge of who I am. Who I am? Who am I? I extend a hand. A hand that belongs to no one. To take hold of my existence. I get it. The main character is a grill. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I just remembered who I am. Nice to meet me. Nice to I'm meet me. I'm the protagonist me. of this crazy story. <laughs> she has the she, right. She has the hair sticking up. Kaede. Ultimate revival. Is she going to start singing gospel music? I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Dude, look at the UI. It's very much nicer. You can tell that this was not a PSP game. The UI is very nice. But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. I looked around. A classroom? Hey, at least the windows aren't all bolted shut. You just got to climb through some barbed wire and squeeze through some bars. That's way easy. Yeah, this is a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? Dude, everybody I'm has everybody has Ethernet switches on their desk. Big cord energy. Uh. Is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek. That sound effect. <laughs> but all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Okay, hold on for a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end I just couldn't. BAM! <coughs> Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... A boy came stumbling out. 
a normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head... <laughs> nice intro, buddy. He screamed as if he'd just seen a monster, fell on his butt, and scooted back. Who are you? Are you with those other guys? Huh? What other guys? The people who kidnapped me. Um, kidnapped? Wait. W where am I? What are you going to do to me? Hey. Hey, hold on. I firmly gripped his shoulders. You know? What's your name? Huh? Dude, his hat uh, um... is his hat faces forward no matter where he's looking. <laughs> it's a magical hat. Ah, I'm Shuichi Saihara. Yeah. I'm Kaede Akematsu. Now listen to me, Shuichi. Got it? Shut up! You're not the only one who's confused right now. Huh? Uh, sorry. After making him shut up, I retraced my steps again. That's right. I was kidnapped too! I was oh my. my usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. Some naked gray silhouettes shoved me into a car. I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. And then... Mood. I lost consciousness. That's right. And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. Huh? Same with me. Were we kidnapped by the same people? Uh, it seems like it. But why me? My family's not rich, and I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl. I've heard that line before. There's no reason to kidnap me. Uh, okay. Me either. I'm just a regular guy. And this is a school, right? Why'd they take us to a school? Um. I wonder why. Hey there. I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Dot, 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 question mark. Well, I can't explain that, but I can give a basic explanation about the controls. Use left stick control a reticle. When you have a target, press A to investigate. Right stick controls your view. Wow, it's the same as the other games. You can also press right bumper button to smack objects around. Who knows, you might find something amazing. You can always press left bumper to return objects to their original position, so relax. However, not every object can be moved. Thank you for your understanding. If you press Y button, a mysterious investigative power will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information, but if you forget anything, you can press start to review the controls. Investigate this place thoroughly. That's how you progress the story, you know? Wait, I can punch things now? Huh, huh, huh. Kung Fu! Yo, I can, I get coins from punching shit. This game is amazing. My playtime just doubled because I'm going to have to punch everything that I ever see. Oh, you can't punch the people. Oh, I can just hold RB. I don't have to tap it. Pew, pew, pew. Get out of here, chair. Oh, I can get rid of everything. <laughs> I've gone mad with power. Ooh. Whoa, they they changed how this looks. You get Batman vision now. That's sick. The outside of the window is covered in greenery and barbed wire? Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? Let's just say the same thing on this one. Yeah. Lock. We woke up inside of these lockers, but why were we in these lockers in the first place? Wait, why is, uh, why does this one like glow gold or do they all glow that color? Does that mean this one's important? No, it doesn't say anything different. Oh, maybe it's just the one you're looking at starts glowing gold. Is this a monitor? Nothing's being displayed right now. Seriously though, what is it? It seems really out of place here. Okay, it's just whatever I'm looking at. It glows gold. Blackboard. 
That's a blackboard, right? Every classroom has one, but this blackboard's also an LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day. Oh, you can't punch when you're in investigation mode. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Shuichi. Um. Anyway, let's just stay calm and think. I'm sorry I shouted at you earlier. No. No, it's okay. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Hey. Anyway, this place is weird. You don't think we got caught up in something bad, do you? Uh. Something bad? What's going on? What have we gotten ourselves into? Where am I? Why was I kidnapped? Who kidnapped me? I don't understand this at all. But that doesn't matter, at least for now. Hey. Let's just get out of here as fast as we can and find some help. Uh, okay. Yeah, good idea. We ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all our strength. But then... Oh my. Hell yeah! Found you! What? The monster? This is bad. We need to get out of here. I'm deeply concerned. It's a scary ro scary robot. Oh shit. Oh. Kaide, over here. Oh, I can actually like look around and move at the same time now. Pog. Dude, these transitions are pretty sweet. He looks cool. Oh, there's multiples. Don't go that way. Over here. Dude, the camera control isn't shit. It took him three, four games. But they got it. They made it work. What are those things? Sure hope I'm not running past anything important. The gym. As we frantically dove toward the door, we saw something we never expected to see. Oh, more people have arrived. Oh god, that's a voice. Did you all get chased by that monster too? Dude, that guy has a bird on his head. Look at it. Uh, oh, yeah. What are they? What do they want with us? Do you want me to check on what's happening? You can't. It's too dangerous out there. It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. Oh god, it's edgy Fuyuhiko or not Fuyuhiko voice. Uh Teru Teru voice. Wait. I shouted at the top of my lungs. Who are you guys? And why am I here? And that makes 16. What? I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us, all high schoolers. Are you what sure you that, that she's a high schooler in the back? She looks pretty small. 16 high schoolers? All right, didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Amami. Amami? I'm sorry, but... Let's leave it at that for now. What? Huh? Um, okay. You know... Anyway, what does it matter if there's 16 of us? There might be more coming. No. Nah. This is, I think this is all of us, if this is what I think it is, anyway. What? If this is what you think it is? Hey! What, you some kind of fucking know-it-all? If you know something, spit it out. We got a spicy lady. It was at that moment, an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Okie dokie. Okay, quiet everyone. Shimmy down, shimmy down. Oh. oh no, no, it's Simmer down. What? Huh? Who's that? Where are they? Oh god, it's a robot armada. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us! Bearing? You say? Are you serious? Damn it! There are more monsters. We're surrounded. Ah. These aren't monsters. They're exosols. And that's that. They're highly mobile bipedal weapon platforms. 
They're Metal Gears, dude. Weapons? Should we take these for a spin by killing one of them? <laughs> Wait a minute. It wouldn't be any fun picking on plain good-for-nothing commoners. You're right. We should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come gushing out like toothpaste. Wait. Please, not like toothpaste. Oh, um, I just imagined it. I can't handle gore. Well, and dude, that guy is like way louder than everyone else. <laughs> then what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one like string cheese? <laughs> Please, not like string cheese either. Ah. Wait, we can't kill him with the exosols. According to the schedule, the exosols aren't supposed to show up till later. What are you saying? But we're in the exosols right now. Ah. Oh, so we are. We screwed up. We're not supposed to be in the Exosols for our first appearance. I told you we should have read the script. What are you saying? No, you didn't. Hmm. Well, why don't we just get out of these mechs? It shouldn't be too late for that. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. So. Okay, ready. Just get out of the mechs. Monotaro. That's Bear City! Monosuke. Monophony. <laughs> Mono dam, mono kid. Oh god. Oh no. Deeply concerned. Well, they're teeny. Just step on them. Huh? Hey. See, we're out of the exosols. Now we're not scary anymore, right? 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 Aww. This desperation is strangely terrifying. You guys are ready? Dude, this music, though. You punk asses better brace yourselves. Wait, does he have chest hair? I'm confused. Is this Steve Bloom's voice in the song? Yeah. And he's just outright terrifying. That's right. I'm a messenger from hell. From the depths of hell, here to drag you down to hell. No, no, Mono Kid. You're saying hell too much. It's ruining the hellish impact. Hey. Eh, what's hellish mean? What? Hey, what's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? Uh, I have no idea. Hey. Moving stuffed animals? Yeah. On top of that, it seems they're calling themselves the Mono Cubs. Moving stuffed animals? Mono Cubs? Huh? Wait, you guys call yourselves the Mono Cubs? Well, don't bother asking Monodom. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. Isn't that right, Monodom? <laughs> the threshold of an amazing adventure. M Monodom, you won't even open your heart to me? I see. Looks like I was right. Actually. This is exactly what I thought it was. But who's behind all this? Why the ridiculous theatrics? Shut up! Gosh, shut up, you! All you were reacting way too normally to this. It's boring. Hey. Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring, too? Hey. Wait a minute. You think maybe they haven't been given their first memory yet? Yeah. Huh? That should have happened before they woke up. Jeez. Hey, answer my question. If you guys are the Mono Cubs, then... Hey, hey who the hell are you punks? What do you mean? What? We're just wondering. Do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Ultimate talents? No. I don't have one. Wait, that's not what your intro card said. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. Uh, um, Me either. I don't have anything like that. Yeah, same here. Told you so. I knew it. They haven't gotten their first memory yet. Monophony, weren't you in charge of that? She fucked up. She's sleeping. Did she seem really tired to you guys? You stupid. She's obviously faking it. <laughs> Even if she's faking, she looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. 
<laughs> if you say so. Um. Anyway, if you guys really are the Mono Cubs, then Who cares? don't worry about us. The real issue is you bastards. Well, issues, putting it mildly. This is actually a huge problem. You all have forgotten your talents and become generic high school students. Huh? Huh? Forgotten? See, according to the backstory, there's this ultimate hunt going on. You've all lost your memories and become different people because of the ultimate hunt. Um, what are you talking about? Well, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. The first thing we need you guys to do is remember your true selves. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. What the? Are you awake already? I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? How are we supposed to talk when you keep asking so many friggin' questions? Yeah, we're not some swift-footed singer who's landed another future ex-boyfriend. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school whiners. That's right. First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. Do it. Give me a makeover. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's get it. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, not I wanted 16 magical girl transformations, not just one. Huh? Wh what am I wearing? Mhm. Mm looking good. Now you look more like Ultimates. Huh? Ultimates. Really? He still has his fucking hat. Next up, the memory you've all been waiting for. Get ready! Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game! Right now, it looks like a Danganronpa cast. K killing game? Alright! Now then, after the flashback light helps you remember your amazing talents, this amazing story will begin for real this time. So long, farewell! Alveter saying goodbye. Oh! We're tripping balls. Sure, I'll save. Can't save Kaede's sanity, but I can save my game. Ultimate revival. You said that already. But the U is falling off now. Reset. Rewind, brother. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Hey, you did that five minutes ago. Get it together, girl. I couldn't even brace for impact. This blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. I looked around. A classroom. What the fuck? We're in a classroom? I never would have guessed. Yeah, this is a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? Uh. Is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek, but all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end I just couldn't. Bam! <coughs> Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... A boy came stumbling out. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student, too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head, 
His outfit did not change much, did it? He got some pinstripes. <laughs> How rude. Don't freak out at me like I'm some sort of monster. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry too, okay? I just have no idea what's going on. But all the more reason why we need to stay calm. Oh, Gymnopody number one by Eric Sati. Yeah, that's right. Try to imagine that sorrowful melody filling your head and soothing your heart. Rise and shine or sign. Yes? Rise and shine or sign. You just said that. Ah! A teddy bear? Oh, no, it's a monster. You can freak out about this. I don't think she was talking to you. That's so mean. You humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. Although, if we are monsters, at least we're pretty monsters. I agree. I'm glad I was born with these looks. I definitely won the genetic lottery. What are they? Why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? We're not mono cubs. We're, we're the stuffed animals. Sorry, I think you fucked up. Mono kid, you're saying your lines backwards. Hey! No stuffed animals, us. The mono cubs, them. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, it's even worse now. Um, huh? Mono cubs? Uh, oh, you've heard of us? Uh, no, of course not. I've never seen walking, talking stuffed animals. As soon as I said that, these mono cub things started looking at each other, and Yay! it worked. Ooh, had me worried there for a second. Dude, what is that tongue, sir? Um, hey, worried about what? I don't understand what's going on. Okay. All right, now let's tackle each issue one at a time. <laughs> sir, that's not allowed on Twitch. Please rephrase. You're so damn reliable, Monotaro. He's like a sixth grader helping out a fifth grader. Which means we should keep our expectations reasonable. Um, well, what's your question? Uh, I have loads of questions, but for starters, where are we? This looks like a school. Okay, so this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Um, Ultimate Academy for G Gifted Juveniles? Hmm. Ultimate Academy? I've never heard of a school like that. That's right. Of course you haven't. This school is made for you 16 cretins. 16? That's right. Yeah, there are 16 ultimates at this school. Huh? Huh? Ultimates? Well... You know what ultimates are, right? The government scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Actually... Ultimate basically means you're particularly prodigious in a particular talent. <gasps> basically, the Ultimate Initiative ex exists to cultivate talent throughout the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts. Like free school tuition, voting privileges, eligibility to run for elected office. They even get grant money too, right? That's right. Students chosen by the Ultimate Initiative are known as Ultimates. Hell yeah! Students would do anything for the honor of being a chosen Ultimate. Um, I don't need the explanation. I already know because I'm an Ultimate too. What? That means you gotta remember this time, so don't forget anymore. Aww. Yeah, forgetting about your Ultimate talent is such a waste. Huh? What do you mean, forgetting? Shut up! Quit your yapping and get started already! Huh? Get started with what? So. By exploring this academy, of course! Well. Also, you should introduce yourselves to the other Ultimates. Because you guys are all going to do an activity together later. Wait, what's this? What do I get? If I do the right stick, I get shit. Hmm... I just picked voice clips. Can I tell him to fuck off? You don't get it. You don't get it. You guys are going to do an activity together later. Got a rock hard rager. Awesome. Well, I've got a rager right now. Well, then. So long. Farewell. Farewell. Shoot. Uh, they left, but I still have so many questions. Hey. This isn't a dream, right? No, but I wish it was. Anyway, we have to find a way out of here. But 
They said there are 16 ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? Probably. Can I punch all this shit again? Yeah, brother. Ultra violence. Give me money, baby. <laughs> Leave no desk unpunched. Shit. That one's resilient. Dude, I like how they just like do the twist of the second game in the prologue. Like, yeah, in the second game, no one was who you thought they were. And in this game, we're just doing that in the prologue. Smile. I get less money the more objects I hit. I don't believe you. I'm rich, dude. Wait, where's my money? I don't know how to open the menu. The Alana Cub said there were 16 ultimate students here. I'll just ask him. Hey. Um, are you an ultimate student too? Uh, okay. Yeah, well then. I'm Shuichi Saihara. They call me the oh. detective, but I thought he was gonna voice half of the line. The ultimate detective. Hey, I know one of those people. What? You're a detective? That's amazing! No. Uh, no, I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across and now people call me that. No. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, yeah. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you. The ultimate, huh? Oh, you mean like I can't go in and out of a room and just punch shit over and over? That makes sense. The ultimate pianist. Hmm. The ultimate pianist. Yeah. Well, no one calls me the ultimate pianist. Usually just piano freak. <laughs> Since I was a child, I would play the piano whenever oh, I... Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Look at her head. <laughs> Look at her head. <laughs> there were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat and sleep. Uh, that sounds kind of bad. I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. That's how you got your ultimate title. Aw, protect her smile. More impressive than me. Her head never grew. She was born with her adult-sized head. No, that's all I'm good for, really. This is my first time meeting another ultimate student. Well, well, ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. Um, Even so, there are 16 ultimate students gathered here now. But why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? Hmm. If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the ultimates? Hey. Uh, about that. I don't remember. Huh? Dude, the perspective on his hat genuinely fucking bothers me. Huh? You don't remember? I've been trying to remember it, but I can't, no matter how hard I try. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got there. It's like that memory just fell out of my head. Uh, Same here. Huh? huh? You know? Can't remember. Yeah, like it looks fine in this portrait, but the one where he, the bill is like facing straight on, it just looks wrong. I can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying so hard to remember. Yo, we're in the we're in Cerebro from X Men. What happened? Uh, are you okay? What's wrong? No. Oh, I'm fine. I just got a headache. That's all. But it can't be coincidence that we both don't remember what happened to us. Um. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. We're confused. We just need to relax is all. Oh, let's imagine Maurice Ravel's sonatine. That's... Is that music? Uh, I, I don't really know much about music. I see. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. Well, he's going to oh, die right. now. Well, but first, let's look for a way out. And if there are other ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has got to know something. You're right. Yeah, good idea. A friendship fragment. You can leave a room by pressing B or interacting with the door. Beautiful Lie. Is that the name of the song? Yeah, it is. Show me the door. Sh 
Schwing. Oh my god, a samurai just cut that room in half. <laughs>